Hi class, welcome to Intro to Massage Therapy. My name is Brenda Lee Germain and I'll be leading the way. I thought I would begin by telling you a little bit about me. I have been a massage therapist for nearly 15 years now and I have been lucky enough to have taken a variety of different classes and training. Some focusing on deeper pressure techniques, some focusing on sports work, rehab work, motor vehicle accidents. Um, in more recent years, I have become more acquainted with the lighter side of life, learning some connective tissue work, learning visceral manipulation. I've uh, studied how our bodies work with emotions and how they react to our psychological states and learning about connective tissue work and visceral manipulation. I've learned how to work with the jaw and our mouth and do that kind of stuff. When I first graduated from school, I worked in a chiropractic clinic for a few years and then I moved into a physiotherapy clinic and I spent 10 years there. I loved working alongside physios and I was really able to see how they utilize soft tissue work and soft tissue techniques in their practices and I got to learn a lot from problem solving with them and we would be working with the same client, right? And so it was nice to talk about how both massage and physio can come together and create the best treatment outcomes for these clients. Nowadays, I rent my own space and I work predominantly with people that have chronic pain. I am continuing my education and have most recently studied child development and muscular growth patterns and their connections to our psychological attributions. I totally realize how much of a super nerd I must sound like, um, but I truly love this stuff and I hope that my passion and previous training can really be of service to you guys taking this class and uh, I hope we have some fun. So let's get into it. Now let's talk about how I have structured this class. Um, between the PowerPoints and these videos and later we'll talk about what to expect with our in-class time. Normally we would have the, this entire class be live and with our current circumstances happening this is really limiting what we're able to do. I did my best to include as much information as possible while prioritizing the hands-on teaching and practice time for this class when we get together. The PowerPoints I've created are going to hold all of the facts that you'll need, all the details, all the notes, and other meticulous elements that are important for learning soft tissue work. For those of you that love to research and read as a way of learning, these notes are especially for you. My hope is that they will be a good resource for you both currently in learning these new skills, but also to look back on in the future. So thinking about the class objectives and wanting to give you kind of an overview of how this class is going to look, in this class we'll be teaching you obviously how to work with soft tissue using massage therapy techniques, okay? So this entire class is gonna be focused on three things the indications for massage, the contraindications for massage, and the basic techniques used in massage, okay? So what that means is you're going to learn what is massage and its basic techniques, what does it look like when massage is the appropriate tool to use, what does it look like when massage is not the appropriate tool, and how to actually do massage techniques safely and functionally. As well, you will be learning things like how to drape properly, how to choose the right massage pressure, trigger points, scar tissue work. We will also go over a few special conditions such as cancer, pregnancy, how to work with amputations. You will see how to do muscle work through clothing as well as get a chance to practice deeper techniques and how to perform them safely. Now, does this mean using massage techniques will be for everybody? No, it absolutely doesn't. You will all find your own styles of treatment, you'll pick things up along the way, you'll change things up and figure out how to make this work for you. 
The intention with a class like this is to help lay some of that groundwork and present different ways of treating. The more you are introduced to and the more tools you are taught, then hopefully the more creative and confident you're gonna be at problem solving in the moment. There's a plethora of possible clients and situations out there, and you will be faced with making in the moment decisions on how best to treat those clients. Now, before we get into class content, let's talk about how you will be evaluated and walk through what you should expect. The evaluation will be right after lunch on day two. It will bring us right to the end of class and as soon as it's over, you'll be free to leave. The evaluation will be a skills check type of assessment, okay? It will consist of pairing up and performing a 30 to 40 minute massage on each other, all while myself, Alan and Shirley walk around We'll ask you a few specific questions. Have you demonstrated a specific technique for us? And although we will be following a checklist for evaluating each of you, I anticipate all of you doing well. In the past, we've rarely had issues, safety being the most important determining factor. If we see any unsafe actions, there's going to be consequences. But again, my hopes are to see everybody succeed, have fun, and learn some new skills. So what is massage therapy? Here we have a few examples for you. My favorite is the one at the bottom listed in bold. It's literally as easy as it gets. The manipulation of soft tissue by a trained professional. All the magic is right there. Now there's a lot of different types of massage and a lot, a lot of different ways to do it. Some are very different than each other and others are seemingly so similar that it's hard to tell the difference. And it's important that we have a lot of variety. There's a lot of people on the planet and the more variety we have to treat all of them, the more likely it is that we're gonna find what they need, okay? In my opinion, other than doing something unsafe or unethical, if someone is reacting well to a treatment, who's to say that that's wrong? Why not keep that going and why not let people have variety? So I have a slide in here about history and I have one with a tree and in its limbs, we see the different types of physical therapies, okay? Something I've studied is cranial sacral therapy and you'll find that in that top right corner. If it were me, I would move it down to that middle left side. I love the connective tissue aspect of cranial. I use it nearly every day. This is where I got really good at doing mouth work and in one of my classes, I got to train alongside a dental trauma surgeon and he was absolutely fascinating. It's definitely worth exploring later in life when you get started down the road of continuing education and all that kind of stuff. I highly, highly recommend cranial sacral therapy. So what are we working on when we massage somebody exactly? Well, the truth is that the jury is still out on the absolute science of it all. The only thing we can prove for sure is that we're massaging the skin and that it likely has some type of effects on our circulation. As disappointing as that sounds, we do know a lot. Don't let the harshness of absolute science get you down. Near the end of this PowerPoint, there is a lengthy list of completed research, studies, and articles. It goes on. And as I've said before, for those of you that respond well to learning through reading and doing research, it's all down there for you. In this class, we'll be focusing on our muscular system. Of course, massage doesn't only affect our muscles. It affects all of our soft tissue, literally from skin to skin and practically everything in between. A lot of what we're made of would be described as fascia. And fascia isn't just a layer in between our muscles. It helps to build you from the cellular level all the way to our big pieces like our muscles. So because of this, it's important to know that when we're doing soft tissue work, we have the power to affect all the different layers of tissue in our body. One of my favorite slides is this one with the person made up of the grid system. Next to it shows the fascia surrounding muscle fibers. I actually had these photos up in my treatment room for a while. It really helped me to envision how to look at the body and how I wanted to start working with somebody's tissues. My clients also really liked it and I think it helped them imagine what I was doing too. So this slide here details how we think fluid is affected by soft tissue work. To summarize, we're moving fluid along its natural pathways, aiding the body with venous return and creating greater amounts of exchange between the fluid that lives outside our venous system and getting it back in there. 
We're basically just flushing everything around, moving fluid along muscle fibers, helping lymphatic system exchange. Massage greatly affects edema and swelling for the better. One thing you might think of is how air moves around in your house, okay? So sometimes air gets stuffy, it gets stagnant, it kind of like isn't so fresh, and we often need to open a window to get things moving, and oftentimes it kind of brightens up our house, okay? So our circulation works the same. When we have better circulation, it kind of cleans things up and increases our general health. Our tissue health depends on the removal of metabolic waste and newer, more oxygenated fluid coming along to feed everything. Any kind of restriction in our soft tissue would then create less flow, less circulation, and less chance for health to succeed. Okay, so here we are. All that talk about fluid exchange and circulation, this leads us nicely into the indications for massage therapy. 